Hi, my name is Licia, and today we are going to review how to create a column or a field inside of Power Apps so that it's visible inside of Dynamics 365. So our first step, if you haven't been here already, is we're going to navigate over to make.powerapps.com. You're going to want to make sure to follow best practices and do this in a solution. Make sure you're in the solution tab here. Once you're in the solution area, we're going to go ahead and open up my already existing solution called JT Customizations. I already have a custom table here called reservation. Let's expand it. I have the option to view columns. Let's click on columns. We're going to go up to the top and we're going to hit new column. And since this is a reservation table, let's go ahead and call this check in time. And instead of creating a data type of a text, we're actually going to change this to a date time format where you want to keep date and time. If you would like, we could have called this check in date and change this to a date only. But today we're going to keep it to date time date and time. We're going to keep the behavior simple and we have the option here to make this field required. So anytime somebody comes in to create a reservation, let's have them be required to tell us what the check in time is going to be. Business required. And that's it. We're going to hit save. We're going to wait for Power Apps to do its thing. And now you can see that we have our field here. Thanks for learning how to create a column with me. My name is Licia. And again, please don't be afraid to reach out to Journey Team on any questions related to Power Apps or Dynamics 365.